Greetings folks, this would have to be one of the coolest products I've come across in my reviewing time. This is the Finwing Transformer from finwinghobby.com. It's a radical looking wing that's designed specifically for FPV and uh, camera mapping. And the cool thing about it is that it all pops apart and you can have it in two different configurations. You can have a single motor uh, 33 inch version or a twin motor 44 inch version. Designed to pack down into a suitcase. Everything just pops apart. Held in by magnets. We've got a clasp holding the nose on there. Nose comes off as well. It is just such a radical idea. We can pull those side bits out. Let's just do that now actually. And there's the smaller uh, F33 configuration. The wing is really nice quality black EPP. There's a white version coming as well, I believe. Uh, the wings are sort of held on by magnets, as well as these little nylon screws in here that you screw in like that to hold them in really tight. Has some really interesting features. You can see we've got a, a mapping hole there for a mapping camera looking straight down. We also have a, a sort of a soft EVA foam uh, nose cover, which you can cut out and glue in a clear uh, lens protector, which is provided. This nose section here is blow molded uh, PE plastic. And we've got a little, little hatch, canopy hatch here we can take off, get access to the battery and everything. Built to last heavy duty. Things like this. See in here we've got a luggage clip to hold the nose on. Stiffened by these two carbon fibre spars. There's carbon fibre spars everywhere. Uh, they're all provided all different lengths for different purposes. Now the hardware has got to be seen to be believed. We get different camera mounting options. That's for a Mobi style camera in the nose. That's for a, a GoPro style camera in the nose. This is for a GoPro style camera looking flat, uh, straight down for vertical mapping. Uh, we've got all these um, motor mounting plates, all the different options. Look at this, metal control horns. That's incredible. They're never going to break. Metal hinges for the uh, elevons. That's awesome. Big spanking push rods there as well. All the uh, motor mounting bolts, there are sort of buried uh, nuts in all the motor mounting spots so that the bolts go straight through and, and bolt in uh, securely into the body. There's the clear lens cover that you can glue into the uh, nose cover there. F33 configuration which is without these sort of side pods here. Uh, the heaviest they've tested it is up to 1.5 kilograms all up weight but it's best at less than a kilogram apparently. Just using a 3S2200 battery, uh, 4S1800, very popular. In this F44 configuration, uh, tested up to 1.64 kilograms all up weight, but it's ideal at 1.5 kilograms. And, the, uh, and that's using a 3S4 uh, to 5,000 milliamp hour or a 4S3 to 4,000 milliamp hour. So I've got batteries that'll cover that. So this will be cool. Now they recommend uh, mini size servos, that's like 18 or 17 gram servos. And it'll suit a variety of motor setups. Uh, you will need two matching motors, which I have, uh, and a separate one for the back as well. So let's just uh, wire it all up and uh, get it going. It does have reflex built into the wing. Uh, they have really thought about the uh, flight characteristics. The, the wing cord, 44 centimetres or 17 inches. I have never flown a plane with that big a wing cord. Just amazing. So cool, looks like a bat I reckon. We have plywood reinforcing for all the hinge spots and the control horn spots. That is brilliant design. That is really thinking about how these things are going to work. Absolutely love it. 
and looking underneath you can see all the uh, spots for ESCs and, and wire routing as well. It's all been thought out really well and designed really well, so let's put it together. Okay, here's the F33 setup. I have uh, 2200 3S in the nose. I have the Mobius camera on its mount in the nose. I have Turnergy 2826 1400 KV with a 7x4 prop, I think. 7x4 prop, so I'll try that out. That seems to be going well. The weight is 960 grams, so that's good. Now I'll set up the F44. And here's the F44 version. Uh, we have two 2205 2300 KVs. I've got a 3003S in there. Uh, CG, I'll have to work that out. I do have some preliminary ideas for CG. Uh, but we'll have to work that out when we're flying it. Weight is 1.3 kilograms. Perfect. A little bit concerned about the outer wings. They're just held on by uh, magnets. I think I'd be tempted to tape them. The rest of it's quite rigid. No dramas there. Pull that in a bit tighter. Counter-rotating props. I haven't got uh, differential thrust set up. I don't really need that, I don't think. Interesting to try it, but really not necessary. Um, I think I'd be tempted to sort of 
tape along the uh, trailing edge and the leading edge just to give it a bit more stiffness maybe. But we're pretty well ready to fly it now so a bit of a tape on that trailing edge might sort of stiffen it up a little bit. Yeah, yeah something like that. Pretty happy with that. That's a bit better. So there is the Finwing Transformer, the F33 and the F44 configurations. Very easy to put together, there's no gluing at all. You just have to organise the, the wiring, double ESC harness to connect the battery. Uh, the weather's unfortunately a bit too windy and crappy at the moment, so stay tuned for the flight video coming up soon. Thanks for watching.